Hey, how are you all doing? Oh, hope you're well. Uh, so it's been about three weeks since the Andover Trail Marathon. Uh, and it's race week again. Uh, got the Clarendon Marathon on Sunday. Very similar to the Andover Trail Marathon. But of course, I did this one last year. So, I'm fairly familiar with the route. So today's long run, only about 11 miles. Just want to tick over. Don't want to do too much before Sunday. Oh, a few hills here. So, today's video is going to be the first in a year long series. Let's get up this hill. Morning. So, the first video in a year long series because in one year, this week, I'll be running the half marathon de Saab. Now, you're probably asking me what the half marathon de Saab is. Now, I have mentioned it before, but it's happening right now, right now as I run, and probably on release day as well of this video. The Half Marathon de Saab is a, oh, I did this last time, went the wrong way. Half Marathon de Saab is a 120 kilometer foot race in three stages on the island of Fuerteventura in the Canary Islands. The first stage is around 30 kilometers. The second stage is around 60 kilometers. Then you get a rest day. And the last stage is about another 30 kilometers. Being a former volcanic island, there is of course quite a bit of elevation. You've also got to carry all of your sleeping stuff and all of your food for the whole four days. Now, if you've been watching for a while, you'll know that I was originally planning to run that right now. I should be there right now. But obviously, the pandemic happened and there was a lot of races which I, uh, I was due to do that were going to be good for practice which were cancelled and I didn't want to go into this run without the proper preparation so I decided to put it back one year probably the right decision now those races that I've got, that I'm uh, practicing, so to speak, obviously will all be in this series of videos. This is video one, because we are one year out from the half marathon de Saab. Now, the marathon de Saab, the full version, is 240 or 260 kilometers across the Sahara Desert. Now, I'm not that mad yet. It's oh, probably being tall. Cobwebs, spider web in your face all the time. So yes, the full marathon de Saab is a very, very tough race. So I have opted to do the half version, which is only 120k. 
had this over three days, so it should be manageable for four days with a rest day. So what have I got coming up? What will be in this series of videos? Now obviously there'll be plenty of training runs. Uh, but first up we've got a Clarendon Marathon on Sunday. That'll be the first race in preparation. It's about two and a half thousand feet of elevation. And then in the first weekend of December, we're gonna have the Endurance Life Marathon on the Jurassic Coast. Now, this is the run which I failed to finish last year. I got about halfway through and my knee really started hurting. I couldn't do any more downhills. So I had to pull out halfway through. Oh, this is a steep one. And that was my first DNF. My first did not finish. And looking back, I'm still not too bother bothered about it or worried because there's no way my knee could have carried on for another half marathon on those hills. So I pulled out. Wow, I've not been this way before, look at that. Awesome. So hopefully, I can finish that this year and I will be, there's no doubt about it, I will be in much better condition this year. Not only will I be fitter and would have run more, I've also started some strength and conditioning uh, shout out to those guys. So my knee should be in much better shape for that one. Then the end of December, a weekend before Christmas, I've got the Portsmouth Coastal Marathon. And that one is flat as a pancake, but that's more about tradition. I've run the half version of it, or the relay version of it, the last few years. And also gives you a great excuse to eat pretty much what you want around Christmas time. And that will complete 2021. And that would have been uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That would have been seven, I think, marathons for the year. Six or seven marathons for the year. So, very happy with that. Then, 2022. So we'll start off on the first weekend of February doing the Pilgrim Challenge. Now the Pilgrim Challenge is a two-day race. Oh, a bit busy here. The Pilgrim Challenge is a two-day race, 52 kilometers a day for two days. Thank you. So you run 52 kilometers out on the North Downs Way and then you turn around and run those 52 kilometers back. Whoa. Very busy. Whoa. Okay. I'll get to a quiet spot and then we'll talk about the rest of the races running up to the half marathon to Saab. See you in a bit. So, as I was saying, actually, how are we doing? Let's have a look how we're doing. We're at 6.13 miles in one hour, one minute. 
6.15 miles, one hour, one minute. Not bad. A little bit of an uphill here. Just run around a beautiful little pond. There's a short section where they put a barrier across. And I thought, ah, it'll be fine. There's a reason they put a barrier across. Because... Good morning, thank you. Morning. My foot went through about two feet into mud. Oh. And now my train is really muddy. Oh. Well, that lady wanted to talk to me. Oh. Right, so as I was saying, early February, we've got the Pilgrim Challenge. 52k out, 52k back on the North Downs Way. And in March, it's the Llama Tree Marathon. Now I've done the Llama Half before, really nice race. Quite a bit of elevation, so the full marathon should be a good test. Then in April, I don't have a race, but my friend Sam, who's running the, well, I think she's still doing it, the South Downs Way 50 mile. And uh, I said I'd run the last 50k with her, the last 30 miles, just to get her home. So that'll be another good training run. And then in May, late May, early June, I'm gonna go to Chamonix and run the Mont Blanc Marathon. That would be excellent training. And also give me a first look at Chamonix before I attempt the CCC in 2023. And then in July, late July, early August, I'm going to run the whole South Downs Way across three days. So it'll be about 50k a day. And that will be my last big run before the half marathon to start. And obviously I have lots of training runs in between those races, but they're all the big ones that I've got planned. Uh, I've also got, later in October, I'm gonna do two 20 milers back to back. So it'll be the first time I've really tested myself with two long runs back to back. It'll either be an 18 mile and then an 18 mile, or a 20 mile and a 20 mile the next day. See how I feel, but I'll we'll put all that into one video, I think. So yeah, that's the plan. That's the racing plan. It's gonna be a long year, but Hopefully by the end of it, I'm in absolute peak condition to run the half marathon to Saab. And then it'll be another year until the CCC. We'll talk more about that at a later stage, but for now, I'm gonna finish this run, get it done. The rest of the week I've got Six miles of hills at QE on the South Downs Way tomorrow or Wednesday. Easy run Thursday morning. Hill training Thursday night. And then some strength and condition on Friday. A nice gentle eight miles or so on Sunday. No, no. Sunday is going to be the Clarendon Marathon. So this will be about a 52 mile week. Big test. So yeah, I'll see you then at the Clarendon Marathon. Oh, see you then. Have a good day, bye bye.